Finding that perfect pair of denim for your wardrobe can be a challenge, but what if technologies like 3D scanning and artificial intelligence could help? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna take you through my experience creating a custom pair of jeans with a company called Unspun. This is a startup that believes your favorite pair of jeans will be ones designed to fit your body and style preferences. They're transforming the traditional supply chain by creating jeans on demand instead of producing them en masse. It's a more sustainable and customized way of delivering clothing, and it could be the future of both manufacturing and customer experience. So let's get into it. What's up, you're watching the Electric Runway YouTube channel where fashion meets technology. I'm your host, Amanda Costco. I've reported from the front lines of every stage of the fashion supply chain, from garment factories in Bangladesh to front row at New York Fashion Week. For the latest updates on the future of fashion, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to be notified when I release new content. So let's get into it. So Unspun is a company I heard about probably four or five years ago. And what made them special was that they don't carry any product. Their retail showrooms are just that, they're showrooms. And instead of producing en masse like everybody else, they produce custom. And what that means is that they only create something once it's ordered and paid for. Now, why take this approach? Well, customization and personalization are huge trends right now. Nobody wants to look like everybody else. Everybody wants that element of something different and something that they created. And so for that reason, people are gravitating less towards mass produce and more towards something that they can have their unique um, thumbprint on. The second reason is, and I've been saying this for a long time, the fashion industry has a data problem. And what this means is that they produce so much waste. You've probably heard that the fashion industry is the second largest polluting industry on the planet next to oil and gas. And there's just an excess of inventory. When too much clothing is produced, it doesn't end up getting used. This leads to waste, both monetarily and environmental waste. So how does it work? The first part is a lot like your regular e-commerce experience. You go to the website, you click around, and you find what you like. There are masculine fits and feminine fits. You can choose from styles of jeans like baggy or tapered. And then you customize your pair based on your preferred rise, thread color, and hem length. Once you've built your perfect pair, you add it to your cart and check out. You can also take a fit quiz to get started, which takes you through each of the customizations one by one. So that part is fun and easy. So the next part requires a little bit more work. Once you've chosen your jeans and you've checked out, you're gonna be prompted to download an app so that you can create a 3D scan of your body. This is essentially a visual measurement of your body shape that's taken using the LiDAR scanner that's built into most smartphones. You basically follow the instructions on the video that plays when you open the app. You have to make sure that you're in tight clothing and stand in an A shape away from the phone and rotate your body as the phone captures your measurements from each angle. So for my first scan, I thought it would be clever and mount my phone on a tripod. It ended up being too high and too far away. And so my first scan actually didn't work. I got an email saying, hey, your scan didn't work and I had to try it again. Okay, no problem. The second time it was successful. Now, I know a lot of people might not be comfortable standing in tight clothing, taking a picture on their smartphone and then sending it to you know, who knows where, but if you check out their privacy policy on Unspun's website, which is available, you'll notice that the data that you're giving them, so the photos of your body in tight clothing are only ever being used to generate patterns. It's not being used for anything else. If you wanna look into this a little bit more, I'll link the privacy policy in the comments below. But basically, once that part is done, you're done. All you have to do is sit back and wait for your jeans to come. So the jeans arrived about three weeks later via FedEx, and I was so excited to open them and try them on. So here they are here. And I'm gonna insert video footage here of me trying them on. Um, at first, when I first put them on, to be honest, I thought these are really tight. But then I remembered that a lot of the times when you buy jeans, they're really tight at first. So I did a few squats in them to loosen them up. And I found I was starting to like the shape more and more. I could feel that the fabric, the cotton was really soft on my skin. It wasn't digging anywhere. It wasn't pinching anywhere. And what I loved about the fit of these jeans is that the rise was actually long enough. So I usually have a problem in here because I'm very tall. I usually find that there's like not enough space for my bits, um, my lady bits. So I really liked how these were nice and long and the length of the jeans was also spot on for me. I never, never, never am able to find jeans that are long enough for me because as I mentioned, I'm quite tall and I really loved 
the fit of these jeans. The fabric that I chose was this um, work, Orca, Ecker, I, I forget what it's called, I'll put it down below. And the style that I went for is more of like a wide leg, almost like a trouser. So um, my thought was that I could dress up these jeans, maybe elevate the look a little bit. And I was excited to get something that just wasn't your traditional blue denim because I have lots of blue denim. But honestly, now that I see how these fit, I might be ordering a pair of blue denim from Unspun because I really have never found a pair of jeans that fit my body like this. The one thing I'll say is they're a little bit tight in the bum still. And I'm not sure if that's because of the double pockets that you can see here, um, but I'm excited to wear them over time and then check back in with you. Um, like I said, the rest of the jeans also felt really tight when I first put them on. And after wearing them for a bit and doing a few squats, uh, they loosened up. So I do imagine that the bum is gonna loosen up. Um, the last thing you want on a pair of jeans, of course, is a really loose and baggy bum, so I would prefer it to be tighter at first and then wear into the shape of my bum as opposed to being too saggy because then there's nothing you can do about it. So I would definitely recommend this product for someone who has a hard time finding clothes that fit them. So if you're extra tall, if you have an odd shaped body like me, um, or if you just have a hard time fitting into standard sizing, which is actually most people, then I would recommend trying out Unspun. What's great is that it's cost competitive with other pairs of jeans that you buy. So. Uh, these jeans were around $200. Unspun did provide them to me for free for providing this review, but I would normally spend that on a pair of jeans. That's what I'm comfortable spending, especially a pair of jeans that I know is made for my body. Um, so that's like the added bonus. It's definitely not like, you know, something that you're gonna be able to buy and get the next day because as I mentioned, it takes about three weeks. But I think three weeks is worth the wait to have something that you ultimately love as opposed to having something that's gonna end up in your closet and never get worn. So that's it, that's my video covering Unspun and the process of creating custom jeans. If you're interested in ordering a pair for yourself, I will leave a link below. As I mentioned, this video is not sponsored, um, but I think you should check them out. They're a cool company that um, is really into sustainability and I like to support that. To stay on top of news and insights of the future of fashion, subscribe to Electric Runway's newsletter. This is a twice monthly newsletter that we send out um, and the second newsletter of the month is a roundup of all the top stories that you might have missed at the intersection of technology and fashion. That's it for today's video. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.